put your belongings in the overhead lockers or under your seat and fasten your seatbelt. Thank you. Hello, Airbus Cockpit Coach here. If you want consistently good landings in the A320, the single most important skill isn't a magic flare technique, it's your visual scan. Where you place your eyes on final and in the flare controls everything. Your height judgement, your sink rate awareness, your drift control, and whether you float, drop it in, or chase the aircraft all the way to the touchdown. And this is something that genuinely takes time to build. When I train pilots in the real world, one of the most common early issues is fixation. Staring at the PFD, staring at the PAPI, or staring at the touchdown zone. And it usually leads to over-controlling and inconsistent landings. A correct scan is a trained habit, and once it clicks, the landing suddenly becomes calm and repeatable. So in this video, I'm going to show you the A320 landing scan exactly as it happens, using the Toby Eye Tracker preview mode, so you can literally see my gaze point on the screen in real time. We'll fly a standard ILS, disconnect the autopilot at around 1000 feet and fly the rest and I'll talk you through what I'm checking on the ILS, when I transition outside and why in the flare your eyes must move to the far end of the runway. So let's jump into the cockpit and get established on the localizer. So here we are, left base for runway 25 at London Luton at 2,800 feet and I'll shortly be turning us in using the Mini FCU to pick up our ILS. So at this point, eyes are pretty much firmly down on the displays, keeping an eye on everything. I'm turning us in now, so we're beginning our left turn and we're monitoring that turn. Looking at the FMAs, we've got Lockstar there, that's important, we're pulling that out making sure that visual picture is correct on the navigation display as well. Cross-checking with a thrust uh, reaction in the turn, making sure we're maintaining speed. An exception would be to look outside, perhaps for traffic, if air traffic control alerted us to traffic in the vicinity, or we've got something on TCAS, of course. So the glide slope's starting to come down. I shall be intercepting that. Really just monitoring the progress of the aircraft and stabi stability. So we're established now, and we're block active. Keeping on that glide slope, which is just about to uh, become active. And then we have glide slope star, and we'll go flaps two. So monitoring uh, thrust reduction on that, and also speed trend is important and making sure that we are uh, beginning to descend on the ILS again in a stable manner really important. We can't quite see the runway yet due to cloud uh, so we're, again eyes are down keeping an eye on stability making sure everything's stable gears coming down so we're monitoring the impact of that Speed continues to come back and with the gear down we go flaps free. Again ensuring that extra drag is doing what we expect with the aircraft, reducing our speed further but also ensuring that we're stable on our descent. Quick glance outside now just to make sure uh, the visual picture is looking correct. Not too much to see from the runway at this time of day. Um, perhaps a little bit more useful at night when we've got uh, more lighting aid available to us. That's full. Again, primarily we're looking at uh, ILS indications here, confirming our landing configuration. But our glances are now becoming a little bit more frequent uh, out of the, uh, the window ahead of us. making sure that aligns with the picture that we're seeing on our displays. So at this point we're monitoring the stability of the descent down the glide slope. 
getting lots of uh, focus on the PFD at this point because we've got everything on there that we need to see in terms of ILS speed and our descent rate. We start to see increased uh, glances up at the runway. Autopilot's coming out. Confirm FMA. Flight director's off and bird on. So Pappies obviously become a reference. Again, we don't fixate on the Pappies. But we're looking at that general visual picture of the runway, trying to keep that in the, the same aspect inside our window. Keeping that visual picture, monitoring that descent rate, As we get closer to the runway, we're more easily able to keep an eye on our descent rate just visually as our closing speed towards the ground becomes much more apparent. So as we get closer in now, you'll see our eyes are starting to look more outside with glances at the PFD just confirming that visual picture in terms of descent rate and also speed. So we'll get a last glance at our speed just before touchdown. There we go. And we're pretty much becoming fully visual now. Looking far down the end of the runway to get that visual picture. Confirming reverse and spoilers. And our speed is decelerating. Reverse is stowed. It's confirmed. and we'll bring the aircraft to a stop on the runway. So that's the A320 landing scan in real time, shown using the Toby eye tracker overlay. And if you take one thing away, it's this. Consistent landings come from putting your eyes in the right place at the right time. On the ILS, keep it disciplined with that simple triangle, localizer, glide slope and speed, with small corrections and no chasing. With the runway reliably visual, blend in the outside picture, center line and aiming point. And then in the flare, make that deliberate shift of your gaze to the far end of the runway so you can judge height and sink rates without over controlling. Remember this is a trained habit, in the real world it takes pilots time to stop fixating and to build a calm for a beatable scan. So if you're finding it difficult in the sim, that's completely normal, practice this on every approach and you'll feel it start to click. If you found this useful, please give the video a like and subscribe for more real world Airbus technique inside Microsoft Flight Simulator. Thanks for watching.